Okay, we're good. All right, sorry everybody. Uh, welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder, and it's great to have everybody here on this January second of 2024. Um, we have a lot to talk about on the show today, but before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link that is streamelements.com/gsmcsportsnetwork.tip. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that, let's get right into what we are going to talk about for today. So starting off the show, we're going to talk about uh, what happened in the Lions-Cowboys game. So we'll recap that game and talk about the, uh, the wild ending to that game. Um, in the second part of the show, we'll talk about the Eagles being upset by the Cardinals and uh, just they continue to struggle. Um, you know, even though they won on Christmas, uh, obviously losing this game, the Cardinals really hurt their chances of, um, you know, the division and the one seed. Um, so we'll get into that. Then in the third part of the show, we'll talk about the big weekend for the Harbaugh brothers, uh, the Ravens big win over the Dolphins this weekend, as well as yesterday. Uh, Michigan defeating Alabama to advance to the national championship, so we'll talk about that. And then we will uh, recap the rest of the games uh, from this weekend as well and talk about uh, Texas and Washington as well, the wild ending to that game too. There were a lot of good games this weekend. Um, I apologize in the beginning. Uh, I didn't realize that my mic was unplugged. And there was one time where I basically went pretty much an entire show, uh, almost an entire show, without like realizing that it was unplugged and uh then it was uh i was told that there was no audio and i didn't realize that the levels on the bottom weren't moving and i noticed that right away and i looked and i saw that uh i didn't plug in the mic so but we were able to catch it everything's good and uh yeah so with that let's get right into the uh well first off i just want to say um i hope everybody had a good uh holiday weekend um a good New Year's weekend. Hope everybody um, spent that, um, you know, spent some time with family and friends to celebrate the uh, the New Year 2024. Uh, I can't believe it. So, um, but yeah, we're ready to rock and roll now here. Uh, we're going into the, uh, the final week of the regular season in the NFL, and we have the matchup for the national championship. So, uh, we're moving right along here. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this game now here. So the Lions and the Cowboys. So this was a standalone game on Saturday, obviously, uh, Saturday night. Um, the Cowboys were honoring Jimmy Johnson, inducting him into the uh, Cowboys Ring of Honor, which is something that, um, you know, has been talked about for a while. Um, but finally, uh, you know, it happened. So, uh, you know, as a Giant fan, congratulations to him. I mean, I, I remember watching the... Um, uh, you know, like the, the Packers Seahawks game, you know, from a few years ago in the playoffs. And, um, you know, that was when they, uh, they inducted him into the hall of fame. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was really, uh, it was really an emotional moment. Um, you know, and cause you know, I, I've grown up watching, you know, him and all the Fox guys, you know, every Sunday watching them. And, uh, so I, I mean, obviously I wasn't around when the, you know, during the nineties with the Cowboys winning all those championships, um, but that was a that was an emotional moment, and that was one step, and now he's finally in the Cowboys Ring of Honor. So congratulations to him. Um, but yeah, with this game though, on Saturday, a uh, big controversy at the end of the game, which we'll get into. So the Cowboys actually ended up winning this game twenty to nineteen. Um, not as much scoring in this game as I thought there was going to be. Um, it didn't seem like anybody wanted to win this game really. Uh, so the Lions. They got uh, things started with an 11-play, 52-yard drive uh, to kick a field goal. Michael Badgley, the money, uh, the money badger, 41-yard uh, field goal uh, to put the um, lines up three nothing. Right, that's what they call him, the money badger. Right. Um, then uh, Dak Prescott threw an interception. The Cowboys were driving. Dak Prescott threw an interception. It was intended for Ceedee Lamb. Uh, the Lions punted. Uh, then the Cowboys, um, Dak Prescott on third and 13 just heaved up a pass to CeeDee Lamb, and um, there was no safety help. There was one-on-one -on -one coverage, and CeeDee Lamb beat it. 92-yard touchdown. That put them up 7-3, to three. and I thought, yeah, the Cowboys are going to um, 
blow out the Lions after that. But, eh, not really. Uh, th- then there were punts. Then Jared Goff threw a pick. I think that was the one that was on, like, the uh, the screen pass um, that they were trying to set up. And then the Cowboys fumbled. Um, CeeDee Lamb fumbled. And uh, then the Lions turned it over on downs. Both, team pun- both teams punted. So, yeah, it was 7-3 to three at the half. So, yeah, not again, not a lot of scoring in this game. Then... Uh, start the third quarter off. The Cowboys punted. Um, Lions scored a touchdown. Uh, they went 13 plays, 74 yards down the field. That would put them up 10-7. And I think that was that was a David Montgomery touchdown from three yards out. And the Cowboys answered with a field goal. Brandon Aubrey, who's had a great rookie season, a 51-yard field goal. Um, then uh, Michael Badgley kicked a 30-yard field goal on the Lions next drive. So that put them up 13 to 10. Cowboys scored a touchdown. That was to Brandon Cooks. Dak Prescott to Brandon Cooks from eight yards out. Both teams punted. Then Jared Goff threw an interception. And then the Cowboys kicked a field goal to put them up 20 to 13. Now, what I don't understand is, and I know a lot of people say the same thing, is why didn't they just run the ball? Because they ended up wasting the clock because, you know, Dak Prescott heaved the ball out of bounds. You know, the Lions didn't have any timeouts left. So you could have just, like, well, I think they had one. But still, like, you could have had them waste it, and you could have kicked a field goal, and they wouldn't have had much time to go down the field. But they went down the field pretty quickly. The Cowboys were playing prevent. It was all Sam Laporta, all the first two uh, receptions. Amon Ross St. Brown got, had a 14-yard reception. Then Sam Laporta again, and then Jared Goff connected with uh, St. Brown for an 11-yard touchdown. Now, this is where uh, things get crazy. So, so Skipper supposedly, um, well, at least on CBS. It shows how Skipper, the lineman, he reported as eligible. But it was really a Taylor Decker that was supposed to be the one that was reporting eligible on the play. So he caught the two-point conversion. The Lions went for two, and they got it. And I was I was happy. I was like, you know what? The Cowboys didn't cover for me. I You know what? I hope they lose this game. And I was like, all right, they lost. But then there was a late flag, and they said ineligible, illegal touching. Illegal touching. Uh, on Taylor Decker. So the whole thing with this is is that the Lions wanted Decker to report as eligible. But according to the refs, it was Skipper that reported as eligible. So that's why they got the illegal touching. So it's the Lions are saying one thing and the refs are saying another thing. They're saying that Decker didn't go up to them. But you can cl- you clearly see a video of them going over to the refs. And you see the ref shake his head, like acknowledging that, um, I guess, that he reported eligible. But you also see Skipper running over too, I believe. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a whole a whole mess with this. And yeah, I mean, with what happened this weekend, it cost the Lions a higher seed. Now, I think they should have just kicked the field goal and went to overtime, but they didn't do that because then they went for it again, and then the Cowboys were offside, so that moved them up. Well, I think, that, well, they got pushed back, then they got... Then uh, Michael Parsons, I think, was offside. So then that moved them up, and then they went for it. And they had to play right. It's just it wasn't a good thrown ball, and uh, the tight end Mitchell dropped it, I believe, right? Uh, Yeah, so it ended up being incomplete. They didn't get the onside kick, and that was it. Cowboys won the game. Um, But this is why, you know, people have their... Uh, complaints with the refs and this is why people don't tr- trust uh, you know how these games are being officiated because it's things like that because that was a late flag like that wasn't thrown right I don't think that was thrown right away because um, Lions were celebrating and everything and then all of a sudden there's a flag and it's oh it's illegal touching so but yeah this is why this is why people have their uh, their complaints with the officiating and um, you know I I think um, there was miscommunication, but you could also see Dan Campbell on the sideline saying, "I told you," because before the game, he talked to the officials about what they, what you know, their plan was. Like, this is what we're going to run, you know, at certain points during the game, and and they 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 messed it up at the end. But I, it was a miscommunication issue. But it you know, it's a little uh, it's a little it's a little fishy. I, I I'm not gonna lie. Now again, I don't want to. You know, say, like Jared Goff said, that the fix is in. Because he said, you know, he doesn't think the fix is in. But, 
you know, it, it's just, yeah, th there was there was some miscommunication there. But it's like, what was Decker doing over there if he wasn't, you know, if, if he wasn't reporting eligible? So, um, but yeah, that was one of the uh, the crazier games of the weekend. Um, I mean, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, again, what we're going to talk about in the next segment, yeah, it, it affected uh, what the Lions were going to do. You know, the Lions getting a higher seed, you know. Um, you know, if they get that win. But, again, I, I think they should have just kicked the extra point. I don't know why. I mean, I guess because the Lions kind of figured, like, we're kind of locked in the spot that we're in. So I might as well go for it. But, I mean, if this was like a playoff game, I mean, it felt like a playoff game. Um, obviously that's not the case. You're going to kick the extra point to go to overtime. I mean, you would think, but I, I guess because maybe the Lions just felt like, you know, we want to win this game right now. Um, we kind of know where we're at in the playoffs. We're going to, I mean, they're going to be a top three seed, but, um, you know, I, it's, it is, it is what it is, but it's just the, these officiating, the officiating needs to be better. You know, and I, I, I mean, I don't know what the NFL can do, but, um, you know, it, it's things like this, like, that make you scratch your head and you're like, what, what, what are we doing? You know, so, um, but see, even my dog agrees, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was a good game nonetheless. Again, I, I expected a lot more scoring in this game, but, um. Yeah, so we'll just run through the uh, the box score really quickly. So Jared Goff, uh, 271 yards passing, one touchdown, two interceptions. Yeah, because he threw one at the end of the game. Cowboys kicked a field goal. They're up by seven. But, yeah, I don't understand what why they didn't just run it to waste more clock, but I don't know. Um, Lions ran the ball for 125 yards. Jameer Gibbs only had 43 yards rushing. David Montgomery, 65 with a touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown had six for 90 and a, and a touchdown. Uh, Sam Laporta, 7 for 84. Jamison Williams had 2 for 69. Um, then on the Cowboys side of things, Dak Prescott, 26, 38, 345 yards passing, two touchdowns and a pick. Uh, Tony Pollard, only 49 yards rushing. CeeDee Lamb, monster game. 13 tar well, 17 targets, 13 receptions for 227 yards and a touchdown. Brandon Cooks had 5 for 60 and a touchdown. Uh, Jacob Ferguson had 4 for 33. Um, CeeDee Lamb fumbled in the game, obviously. Uh, Jordan Lewis had a pick, and uh, Donovan Wilson had a pick as well for the Cowboys. Um, so, But, yeah, both teams are now 11-5, and five, and we'll get into uh, the next segment when we come back from our first break and talk about what happened with the, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, them being upset by the Arizona Cardinals. So stick around, and uh, we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 